Just a little toilet break. There's a statue here of a bird and an otter, but the bird has lost its face. And this other animal seems to have lost its head. At least this fella still has a face. Pretty dusky morning. Let me show you our cottage from the outside because yesterday when we arrived it was really dark. Somebody drove by. I find it really awkward to film when people are going past. So there's a nice outside sitting area but it's really cold at the moment. We've got a kitchen and you're gonna get a full tour inside as well. But yeah, yesterday when we arrived, it was so dark, we struggled to find it as well, but this one didn't have any lights on. So we kind of knew it was the right one. We had to phone the host because we went off on the other end of the street. And there's a garden as well. It's very cute. A little seating area for Buddha. Let's go up. This must be great for summer as well. There's a view of the Loch. Loch Fine is where we're at. And there's a canal as well. Nice. Scared off the poor shag. It's quite cool. It's not your typical mallard. And here is our lovely cottage. The right side of it, so it's like a double cottage. And this is what the weather is like. It's pretty hazy today. I'm gonna go explore on foot. I'm gonna go down to the harbour before we go to our first location. Yes, Jesus Christ, I just almost fell on my face, okay, <laughs> I think I will just stay right here.
we are on the way to a fort called Danskig just now. I think we found it. That must be it. You get a bit of a view of the Isle of Giga over there. Don't be scared going down to the sea. Oh wow, that's quite a prominent rock there. That's where we're gonna go up and probably up the side there. So this is pretty much the sea. Nice little stone bench. So quiet here. So here's our Dunst gig. You can already see the wall up at the top. And there's also this very interesting looking stone, which is a bit person shaped. It's got a head and a body. That's another Craig Obney, just the way it's laid out. He's got the way leading up and then this whole shape. Craig Obney number two, or three, or four, or five. You can see a big pile of stones on the top there. As you can see though, the cloud is very low today, so you don't get a view of the distance unfortunately, especially not from up here. I'm coming up the steep end and there's an edge right in front of me, probably a wall, out a wall, in a wall maybe, but there's a little entrance right here. Oh. Is the rest of the wall that stumbled down and an entrance hello there beautiful holy moly there is a wall a proper wall that is awesome let's get up on the wall that is really cool here we are top over there and big ground wall all around this and then there's a great view over there as well the loch going inwards very low cloud as I said but you can see a little bit 
down by the sea. There's that pile of stones in the middle as well. I don't know when that is from, whether it's contemporary. Here's some detail of the wall. It's so thick, it's a bit like um, Dandelarve. That's a hill fort we have done a tour off, and that wall is also pretty pr well preserved. Of course, the highlands and islands in general are a lot better preserved than anywhere else. Apparently there's more. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, there's a circular structure here. With a wall around it. That's the coast that we just walked along. And we had to avoid that path because it was really waterlogged, so we had to go along the coast. <laughs> time and the visibility has improved a little if we can see a little bit of the sea and the island over there from the drone because it was further up into the cloud you could only see the hill fort itself Talking about a quirky door on this house. Doesn't that look like an altar to sacrifice to the gods on the sacred Shell Beach? Which is down there. I think Shell Beach is just lots of shells that were crushed into small pieces from the looks of it. Hmm. 
Look at all these shells. So this is sand made from shells. Look at these shells. Oh. Look at these beautiful shells. There is a never ending supply of shells. So so it looks really cool at night time. So dinner is cooking and in the meantime I'm gonna show you this place just because I haven't done it so far and unfortunately we came home again and it was dark already so you're not gonna get to see the place in the daylight it was pretty dark anyway so you're gonna you're gonna get to see it in just the indoor lights, but I did film the windows this morning because they have beautiful decorations. So without further ado, let's do a tour of a lovely cottage. Coming in, we have a bathroom. There's a lot of detail. Everything is very seaside. So stuff like this. And even this watching thing, all these knots. Look at these things. I love details like that. And then the seahorses. We have the living room there. And here's our, our messy room. There's bookshelves everywhere. We've got this whole bookshelf to choose from. Uh, we've got a bookshelf here with lots of books. We've got a map of the area. And another map of their slightly different beautiful paintings. This sitting area. There's a massive bookshelf right here. And I get some of these games. I have a Lord of the Rings Vrisk. I'd love to play that, but we don't have any time whatsoever. I don't even know if we have time to play any of this. Star Wars Monopoly, Kalaska Monopoly, Lord of the Rings Monopoly. There's also a normal Monopoly. And some kind of wooden monopoly and then get the kitchen corner one more bookshelf so there's lots of books and we have this nice area which is probably more useful for the summer you can sit here there we go some light and it's pretty cold in here so let's back out again so this place is great and it's really cozy and it's called Linnet Cottage we are in one Linnet Cottage so there you are so this is a tiny tour um, maybe there's a few more details. There's more knots and these cows. I like them, they're very interesting. There's more over here. There's a wizard cow with, he has an owl on his shoulder. Great. And these cows. And then little items on the shelves. This picture, I don't know, I love all of this. Oh, now the tour is finished. Yeah, we're only staying here for three nights because uh, my mum is only staying for six days in total. And she also wanted to see the town that we live in, Perth. So we opted to just only stay here for three nights, but I think this, the very least this cottage deserves to, for people to stay for at least a week or maybe even two weeks. And there's lots to explore in the area, mainly nature walks. We're only getting a small slice of what there is to be seen. 
because from this point you can go down the entirety of the Kintyre Peninsula, which is where the fort was where we went today, Dunskig, uh, that's on the Kintyre Peninsula. You could potentially even go over to the islands from here, like Jura and some of the other ones, because there's a ferry that leaves nearby. You could go up north to Oban, that's what we're doing tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow we're also visiting Dunad Hill Fort. So there's lots to do. You could also go east or west. So it's a nice central place to be. But so much to do, so little time. But I'm enjoying myself so far.